I'm gonna share the five things that you're probably doing that's keeping you stuck and makes you feel like, I know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm not doing it. So this is for you if you feel like you, you like have a really good idea of who you are and you understand why you do what you do, but you can't seem to go from awareness to action. So keep watching. So why does this even matter? Why, who cares if you're an overthinker or not? Well, let me tell you this. If you are trying to step up your game in any area of your life, but you find that you keep hitting up against a wall and you're like, why can't I seem to move forward? I'm gonna give you solutions for you to actually move forward, use your self-awareness to your advantage and stop being trapped in this cycle of introspection all the time where you think you know everything, but actually you just keep hitting up against a wall. So here's the first way that you're trapping yourself. You're trapping yourself because you let yourself doubt take over. Anytime you spend too much time thinking, your mind will inevitably convince you, justify, invalidate, tell you why you can't do this or do that. It'll start like that self doubt will start to creep in. Have you ever had an idea and you're like, yes, I can do this. You suddenly get this surge of confidence to go do something. And then you sit there and you think too much about it. And then your self doubt starts to creep in. And it's like, no, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe it's not a good time. I uh, know, maybe not. And then eventually you just convince yourself out of doing the very thing that you were like initially all gung ho to do. The second trap is that you keep rehashing memories over and over again. If you are stuck in the past and you keep rehashing certain events, things that have happened, people have said certain things to you and you keep rehashing that over and over again, that is not self-awareness. That is you being trapped in introspection. Introspection will often look like you taking a thought and just perseverating on it. Like you're just thinking about the same thing over and over and you keep rehashing memories, painful memories mostly, or even like, they feel like good memories and maybe that part of your life is over and you keep thinking like, I wish I could go back to that. Or you keep having this fantasy image of what things should have been like and you keep rehashing those memories over and over again. You're not living in reality. You're living in a fantasy of what you think your reality should look like. So that is your second trap, rehashing memories over and over again. And so therefore you're not in the present, you're stuck in the past. The third trap is that you keep trying to find the truth. You keep searching for this one nugget, this one thing that's gonna just change your world and all of a sudden things are gonna be great. That is not how self-awareness works. That's introspection and that is you just getting totally wrapped up in your head, thinking that if you rehash memories over and over again or you keep replaying things in your head over and over again or if you keep going deeper and deeper and deeper into your thoughts, you're gonna find this one aha light bulb. You're not. Stop trying to seek the truth and this one answer because you're constantly just searching and searching and searching and you're missing out on the most beautiful time in your life which is right here, right now. If you wanna find the truth, stop searching for it, start being with yourself, start living in the moment, start having a great time and just enjoy every single moment and trust that everything that's happening to you is happening for you. The fourth trap that you're in is that you completely let your thoughts take over. It's one thing to have a thought and be curious about it. It's another thing to go down the rabbit hole of your thoughts. You have one thought, which leads to another thought. Five hours later, you haven't gotten shit done. You're completely overworked and exhausted because your brain has been going nonstop. You haven't gotten stuff done and you haven't gotten whatever answer it is that you're looking for. You're gonna have thoughts. They're gonna come and go. Your only job is to observe them and be like, oh, okay, there goes that thought. Does it serve me? Cool. Does it? Toss it to the side. And the fifth trap that is keeping you stuck in introspection and not really developing self-awareness is that you have a perfectionist mindset. When you're a perfectionist, every standard you set for yourself is so high that nothing you ever do will be good enough. No matter what you start out to do or any ideas that you have or anything you wanna do, it's never ever good enough. The more you keep thinking about things, the more you keep thinking about how I could have done it better, looking at how things could be done better is fine, but when your perfectionism is stopping you from even starting, nothing you do is ever good enough, that's going to really keep you small. So if you really wanna develop self-awareness, know this. It is not just about knowing who you are. We all know who we, we are. We've been, in, we've been in our skin for how many ever years we've been alive. It's not about just knowing who you are. It's about accepting who you are and not just the good parts and the pretty parts and the shiny parts. It's about knowing and accepting every single part of who you are, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So if you want to develop true self-awareness and really start to accept yourself and get out of your perfectionist mindset, apply below 
so we can work together.